Hello, hello everyone and welcome to uh, this very new room. We're going to have a great discussion with our next featured speaker. Her name is Karina and she is an SME consultant and life and business coach who spearhead champion consulting and coaching LTD. Her organization development experiences spans over 18 years with small and medium sized businesses. She is also a freelance career coach and resume writer with an international talent mobility company. And today, her title of her talk will be Clarity for Collaborations to Ace Entrepreneurship. So once she come on the screen or we are going to really listen to what she has to say because I really want to hear about her clarity for collaboration, which we are in a season of collaborations right now. And so she's going to help us do it the right way. So as we fix the screen and everything like that, we'll be waiting for her to come on. So how are everybody doing? Make sure to give her some hand claps when she come on the screen and make sure that we make this engaging at your questions and also chat and say hello to the ones that are actually in the room with us today because this is all about us connecting collaborating and also networking and getting to know each other and she is going to help us with that collaboration so karina you can take over the stage when you are ready Karina, do you need help with how to come on screen? Because I see that you're muted. Just in case you're speaking, we can't hear you.
Hello, everyone. We apologize about these technical difficulties, but our speaker is having difficulty uh, unmuting and coming on some kind of glitch. And because remember that this event is live and it is truly a global international event. So therefore, working with technology, sometimes it works right and sometimes it doesn't. So what we are planning on doing at, as we wait and we try to troubleshoot through um, this so that we can have our speaker come on, we are actually going to have our team play a video for you. Um, and so that you can learn more about WYN conferences and also see how you may have the desire to participate in our upcoming events that will be coming all the way through 2022. So right now we are currently waiting for that video to be played, but Karina, if you can come on and we have got over the troubleshoot, we'll go ahead and have you go ahead and speak first and then we'll do that. But if not, we will move forward with a video until we can kind of work through to help her be able to get on. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone, for your patience. And thank you for understanding. We appreciate you for being a part of the WYN conferences as participants, as guests, as keynotes, as exhibitors, and just as individuals, business owners, and thought leaders that are truly helping by sharing your thoughts with us and truly impacting the world with good. That is what the WYN conferences is all about. It's about bringing like-minded individuals, thought leaders, scientists, uh, doctors, coaches, and educators all together on one platform in order to enhance and help humanities with revolution in innovative uh, studies and research in order to help us make the world a better place. Now, this particular WYN conference is focused on women empowerment, showing how women can help in areas of science, engineering, and non-traditional roles that women do feel um, these capabilities and how we can truly uh, motivate one another in these relative fields and support one another from all over the four corners of the earth. It's truly my honor to be able to talk and uh, network with so many illustrious, amazing women from all over the world. You truly are motivational and we thank you for your time and participation in the WYN conferences. So right now we are waiting for that video to queue up. So I am gonna go a little bit backstage and we're gonna see, can we help our amazing speaker because she is a life and business coach, a SME consultant. And we will really like to hear what she has to say. So hold tight. And while you wait, you can have some fun. So go ahead and start interacting and doing different things and go visit the exhibit and all that great things. Um, because you can actually meet Dr. Carmen, you can meet Tina D. Lewis, and you can meet, uh, we have our top exhibitors are Dr. Carmen, Patricia Jo Grover, Tina D. Lewis, Diane Morgan, M-A-H-H-E. And you can see all the things that they actually have to offer and connect with them, along with all of our previous speakers from yesterday. Make sure that you connect with them and their services. And you can also connect with me at coachtinaramsay.com. Looking forward to meeting you, networking with you, collaborating so that we can make the world a better place. So let me, oh, our speaker is back. Uh, she may, we may, ah, yay! Hello, everyone. Yay! Oh, I want to hear what you have to say so much. So I'm so happy. Oh, my goodness. So oh, I am going to see people. <laughs> I, but oh. listen, we have you now. I'm so excited. So I am going to go backstage and thank you so much for being a part of our conference. We definitely need to hear what you have to say about clarity for collaborations to ace entrepreneurship because we're in the season of collaboration and any pointers that you can help us to be successful in this area, we gladly appreciate it. So Thank you for coming. And I know we had some little tech issues. So thank you for yes. coming. And you can go ahead yes. and take the stage away. Okay, so let me just uh, quickly get to just share my screen here. Okay. All right. Such a privilege. 
Okay. Lovely. Let's see. Hmm. All right. So can any everyone see my screen? I'm seeing some love there. So yes. <laughs> Great. Okay. So Tina, thank you for your wonderful introduction there. And I'm sorry for the uh for the technical delay, but we're ready to go. So just 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 a bit, you know, um, from Trinidad and Tobago, and I have 18 years of experience with organization development and business management. And I really believe in continuously learning and consistently applying what I'm learning. And as we know, in the past two years, it has been a whirlwind for many of us. And collaboration is the buzzword of the day. Collaboration is where it's happening. Uh, we borders are no longer keeping us back. We are just going fully at it a few clicks away. As a life and business coach, I help professionals get really clear on their core values, to prioritize their well-being, and to also unleash their creativity to lead with clarity and fulfillment. So this is my, my, my part here today, clarity for collaboration to ace entrepreneurship. And this topic is applicable since collaboration is the essence of entrepreneurial success and business development. So let's jump right in. So in today's session, you all will be able to understand what is required before you could effectively collaborate. And then you would be able to adopt these approaches, an approach in particular to navigate on the entrepreneurial journey that you're on. And we would also be cultivating ways to connect and collaborate meaningfully. So this is not about superficial collaboration. This is meaningful collaboration. This is a model that I use. I call it a core values connection. It is used with companies. But for today's session, we will focus on the individual core values, which would we would say in this case, the entrepreneur. That's you. That's me. All right. So all of this we would see a bit clearer in as we move on to this particular slide here we are living in unprecedented days and we and the moving targets is creating much ambiguity so this image here is is really to help us understand personal core values of the entrepreneur and the founder so it's really it starts here it starts in this impetus right here in the orange color and then it it extends it moves out as you as you expand your business you gain more contacts networking collaborative opportunities like like the one we're part of today and then you would realize for your business when you would want to hire you would have that those core values for the business and those core values should usually be aligned to you as the entrepreneur so what you would want for your business um you know it should be closely aligned to, to who you are as a person and then the team and the persons that you will delegate and designate different uh, jobs and tasks to and work and all of that it really um it's important to have some sort of binding factor you know what what is it what is it about the behavior what unifies the team what what informs those decision making um uh, situations that we all a part of each and every day. Great. And I always, um, I believe in, in just having like a definition so we know what we're about. Core values, these are our personal ethics and the ideals that guide our life. It guides us. When we make our decisions, we build relationships, solving problems, and you all know we do this every single day. We do it in our business. We do it personally. It is a part of life. Decision-making, relationships, it, it's happening. In terms of these core values, identifying these values are that are meaningful in your life to really help you develop and achieve personal and professional goals. It's important. As you saw, the impetus there, that orange mark, that's, that's, that's like you. That's you at your core. In the entrepreneurial journey, we should be intentional about our decision making and our priorities. And just as a point of ponder, as we look at this definition here, you can ask yourself, what is the basis for your decision making? How do you build your relationships? And how do you solve your problems? Really, how do you do it? 
you know, if your basis is somewhere, um, you know, where where the motivation or the rational is misaligned, then your core values, it, 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 it could be out of alignment. It could be like in a place where you're unsure, it's unsettling and it could create some self-doubt. And also those costly mistakes. We do not want to have those costly mistakes. Knowing your values and living it out is personal navigation at its best. And I, I came up with this, this quote simply because of my journey over the years. I have been a part of, um, you know, projects and all of that where I was not really aligned. So my collaboration was, you know, it was, it was, it was there but not there. I was somewhere in between. And you really want to be all in. The work that you do should really be meaningful to you, first of all, to create the greatest impact you can have, you know, for the community, the society, in, in whatever sphere that you're a part of. This is very important here. This is behind the scenes. So we had some outstanding presentations yesterday with the brain and how it works and all of that. I would not go into all of the scientific side of it. I would just go into, you know, let's just say uh, this particular layer um that that's important to know for the rest of the presentation to bring this understanding behind the scenes so we do have the core values here which i consider to be our treasure chest we have each you know came packaged so nicely it's just a matter of us unearthing what is it inside of us at the core our purpose what is it really but we have to understand that there are some some things that would have happened and they are called our experiences and many sources of, of those experiences religion childhood peers community you know the, the profession that we're in the media sources that we're taking our information from understand that those experiences here feed into what we believe it creates our belief system and the belief system it informs those values all right now, with the beliefs, there are enabling beliefs and limiting beliefs. I have put up here that enabling beliefs, it's its really about empowerment. It's empowering and this and the limiting beliefs, those are the disempowering parts of our, our, our lives and, and the things that we deal with. And I want to say something about beliefs again. The beliefs, whether whether you choose to say, okay, I go with my enabling beliefs. Remember that that is your truth. That is your truth, which enables you, which empowers you. And with that, you can plan, you can create, and you can achieve your goals and live a fulfilling life and lead in the way you would like to lead. If you follow the disempowering side of it or the limiting beliefs, that is also your truth. That is the that's what you decide and 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 you make a choice okay i'm um, i'm looking at this but this limits you this interferes with your your best efforts you know to to really move forward and take action a lot of us are stuck and we are not moving forward unable to fully go out there and and collaborate because we just don't have that clarity we don't have that that big picture that that br that brilliance that we could move forward with successfully and Putting it all together, these core values are expressed. This treasure chest that we have here, it's expressed moment by moment. But understand that sometimes we are unaware of what our core values really are. So it's important to know them. And when you know them, to live them. And how do you know them? You know, you can work with a coach. You can, you know, I, I mean, that's how I really found my core values and my space in terms of actualizing clarity for those that I work with even now. It is powerful. It is powerful to know because it is not just about your business. Also, it's also about the other areas of your life. All right. And not living by your core values could really hamper your progression. You would have a big dream or desire in your heart. You know, you, you believe, yes, this is my purpose. My purpose is to go out there and to really touch lives in a, in a particular field. But but yet still you're stuck. So, so right here, you know, there's like a big, there's a barrier. There's a barrier. There's something that you keep hitting against. And that is what we'll have to, to break through and, and, and go through that resistance so that you could truly and fully live, you know, in, in, in your space of enlightenment and empowerment. 
and emotional intelligence. We hear it a lot for years now. Um, Daniel Goleman, this is this is his model of emotional intelligence, and to me, it is it is quite powerful. I I I I believe you know that emotional intelligence is 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 the key. It's the key for us as entrepreneurs to really get ahead. And and as we see here, it is important, you know, to depict clarity and collaboration in this space. When you talk about personal competence, this is where you will be able to get your clarity. This is where you will able be able to contribute. This is personal competence as we see it here. And and in this way, you know, when you are aware, the more awareness you have, you are better placed to manage yourself, manage your life, regulate, you know, your moods and what's happening. And 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 you and it becomes intuitive, you know, after a while, you know, because you you are you are aware, you you're not in a reactive place, you are in a responsive place. You are readying yourself, you know, to move forward. And once you can gain that personal competence and you know i will call it you know really clarity up and the the, the the upper part here with self-awareness and self-management when you get these breakthroughs and continue to work on on yourself and you know uh, uh you know realizing who you are your gifts and your talents you know you are well able better placed for social competence and that is the awareness and the relationship management side and this is where where the collaboration happens but understand that if you if you're not paying attention to you know your own awareness and and how you are how you regulate yourself then then it's going to be an issue and i have put forward here um it's it's highlighted here in red acting in congruence with your values now remember out of congruence means you're out of out of alignment you know you're not in your space you're not in your zone you're not being lit up you know you're just doing this by force you're just doing this because it's a means to an end and it is not it's it's not fully moving you to that space of of true entrepreneurial success because they go together you want to collaborate but yes just get get to understand what's behind these scenes what my emotions is felt our emotions are felt in our body. So you know, if you're making a decision, you can you may feel it on your chest or your back or your your hands, my palms might get all, you know, like 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 sweaty and, and you just feel uncomfortable. You know, that's that's our emotions. And and people say, you know, and I agree, you know, your your emotions cannot rule you, but it guides you. It 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 gives you indicators, you know you know karina okay look at this decision here you're feeling uncomfortable about it what about it and and you right there and then you know just 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 get it together rather than just moving in a place where you're unsure you're really unsure it it does not take you very far if you do go far or or, or to any distance really it would most likely be short too great so as we move on when I talked about behind the scenes, um, I noted, you know, with our belief system, the truth that we decide to go forward with. And if you're going forward with the, the experiences, the bad things that happened, unable to get out of the past, unable to truly and fully, you know, understand, well, okay, the past happened and it, it had to happen. I'm here now. I'm great. I'm doing well. I have my business. It's, it's, it's coming together for me nicely. That's one part. But if you choose to, to constantly stay there and, uh, you know, feel dejected and as though this is not happening for me, this is not working for me, this is what happens. You you become worried and there's dissonance, mind-numbing activities. When COVID happened, um, you know, I for, for a good time, I was a bit disempowered. I was like, whoa, what am I doing here now? What's going to happen? I felt very much, you know, like I've, I've lost my balance. And, and, and I felt, you know, some days it was just really rough for me. But, and, and I'm sure... I mean, a lot of us would have gone through that also. But the idea is that you don't stay in that place. It's staying there, you know, chronically there. It, it means as it means that you will really be holding yourself back. And there's no there's no clarity here. When you when you follow this part, there is really no clarity. You are what I call this is the hamster's wheel effect. You all know the hamster's wheel. There is no personal navigation there. You are the wheel. You are not even turning the wheel. It's turning for you. It's happening and you're reactive, 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 going around in circles and becoming burnt out and trying to figure out exactly what's happening with me here. 
you become reactive and in survival mode. I'm just surviving the days. I'm just surviving. And you're looking outside externally for that light. You need to turn it inward and understand, okay, it's, 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 it's really about being what we have here, the empowered entrepreneur, empowered by your truth. We're optimism, you know, I mean, yes, it's rough, but you know what? It's, it's futuristically, it's going to be okay. And, and reflective and non-judgmental. And, you know, I, I put here like gifts because the past is really our gift. It is our gift. It's, it's, it's what we learned and how we're moving forward and, and what we decide to do with our experiences. All right. And there is clarity about those goals and actions. We are leveling up, you know, and I, I know a part of this, um, this conference is really about women being empowered and leveling up, moving to the next level. And we're purpose-driven, goal-oriented, and values-based. And, you know, all about clarity is really uh, getting to that place of values and, and fully understanding yourself, understanding what you do, why you do it, you know, your why. What is that, your why? This is very important. And then your what, what about it? And with, with, with the awareness, when we connect it with uh, emotional intelligence, I, I mentioned again, I will say it's responsiveness and you're resilient and in thriving mode. So you're not, you know, people put surviving and thriving together, but I don't because I think it's really two different things. You, you, you decide, okay, you have gotten over this and maybe you're still getting over it, but you're thriving, you're moving up, you're moving up, you're leveling up all of the time. This is what life is meant to be for us, constantly bursting through, getting through those 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 barriers the interferences so we can really live and 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 be you know our best self and this is a quote i i i really like and it's by roy e disney it's not hard to make decisions once you know what your values are and i would say know what they are and live it out live it out by your actions it's very very important for us as entrepreneurs Great. And this model here, I call it the ABCD approach to ACE entrepreneurship. With this, with this model, I mean, as I mentioned just now, clarity is required and our why and our what. And this clarity enables us to have meaningful collaboration. And the collaboration addresses the when and the how. So when do I go forward and, and, and do this? And how do I do it? You know, what is my position? What is my stance? So the ABCD is accountability, branding, communication, and delegation. And there is a quote here by Bob Proctor. Accountability is the glue that ties commitment to result. And, uh, and this, is, this is really powerful because with accountability, you're able to be attentive to what you have really set out to achieve. And then with accountability also you can have an accountability partner but the accountability i'm speaking about here is 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 from within from you you know your personal accountability uh, accountability prospects what is that like accepting the responsibility for the results and outcomes so there is really no blame game here there's no blame at all and you know stephen covey said that accountability allows for our response ability so there's no blame you know, you stand up and you, you are able to deal with, you know, what the outcomes are. And it's really about being authentic and demonstrating an openness to learning. So you're always on that learning curve. You're learning as you grow. So you, you, you're learning and you're growing, you know, simultaneously. And an important question would be really, you know, how do I hold myself accountable? And understanding that practice and accountability yields the authenticity and being you know, a continuous learner and open mindedness is very important, you know, for us to continuously be there mm -hmm. and be accountable, accountable, you know, to ourselves and to others and to our business, you know, what, what we do and, and how we do it. The other part would be branding, you know, and Seth Gordon said, a brand is the set of expectations, memories, stories and relationships that taken together account for a consumer's decision to choose one product or service over the other. So I spoke about our core values as our personal touch points. That's where you connect with yourself and you, and, and you know that you're on the right path. And it's really the absolute alignment of who you are and what, and what you do. 
it's it's very important to first of all before you can connect with a customer client other stakeholders you need to be able to connect with yourself and do that very well all right and again it's a growth process it's it's not an overnight um uh, uh, occurrence you know it, it happens over time but you need to be able to have the awareness and then decide i'm going to take action in this area and differentiating within the marketplace there is a lot of comparisons and a lot of entrepreneurs struggle with this comparison trap and and it it, it takes you nowhere and really fast so the, the idea is to differentiate yourself get within understand what is your unique space in the marketplace and go for it you know go for it get clear on your values go for it and move forward and what you're also doing with branding is creating that engaging experience and um the speaker spoke about it yesterday it's the feeling it's the emotions it's 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 what gets you in touch with 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 your people with your tribe and and that's important again understanding that it happens first from within and you can ask yourself, how do I stand out in the marketplace? Great. Then we move on to communication. Now, communication, you know, some would say, well, that's part of branding, but I think it's different. I think, you know, it's it 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 says something here in this context. It's 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 a different um, you know, uh uh, uh perspective, you could say. Because what communication really is about is it's it's those you know, not Turner. Good communication is a bridge between confusion and clarity. So we know in the marketplace and even, you know, how we communicate sometimes is unclear. And, and we want to get away from that when we collaborate. We want to be able to have, again, that, 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 that clairvoyance. So our communication should be very clear. It should be relevant and, and really concise messages. And not only, um, you know, receiving information, but requesting clarification to address any ambiguity at all, because we, we would understand that there are costly mistakes sometimes, and it will take you, it will cost nothing to really ask a question, to get clarification, all right? What do you really want to express? How would this best be communicated? You know, you 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 have to be able to, to bring it on in such a way where there is, you know, across the board, both parties understand it, it it becomes a win win and building this credibility with stakeholders and when i talk about the credibility i include that as part of your communication being where your the core values you know of your business and and even who you are you know as a person is built in in the communication so you always include it when you're communicating so when when someone sees your work or, or they hear you know like a podcast it'll be like oh yeah that's karina oh yeah that's tina this is how it goes, you know. It's 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 like your, you you are the ambassador, you know. And how you speak and and the way you speak is very very important. Again, understanding that the, without good communication, you always have that confusion. Lovely. So then we move on to the part of delegation. Now, delegation is 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 a somewhat of a tricky thing you know um we all you know this is your business this is what you do you've worked so hard you have come to come this far and your business is growing and you can't do everything now this is critical for collaboration all right really and you know the master himself richard sir richard branson the art of delegation is one of the key skills any entrepreneur must master and you use the word master and i agree with it you you need to know what when it's time to let go of um you know some of the of the task and give it you know and, and designate delegate it requires though clarification on the status of your business you would not want to spread yourself too thin or stretch yourself in such a way where you would not be able to to meet your bills you know you have to scale accordingly and also this delegation helps to set the pace for the progress of your business. Now, as you grow, you have to your you, your business will grow, and you'll need to have more people at your side to support you in your in your mission and vision, and understanding that um, it 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 is re really important to know when it is is quite situational. Timing is very important, and readiness is also another issue here that comes up. And you will ask yourself the question: Am I comfortable with delegation? This is something that you really need to be reflective about and truly understand. You know, am I comfortable with delegation the important thing is you are able to focus on business development initiatives 
partnerships and other collaborations to have a progressive business. So it's very important and it's also fun. Okay, so we move on. So at this point, we will talk about the key takeaways here. It's just, uh, you know, simply what, what, what all of this is about in a nutshell. Collaboration is the essence of entrepreneurship, really. I mean, we can't get away from that. No man's an island, no woman's an island. We all need each other to do great and exceptional things. It's not what we do, but really how we do it, all right? It's what we do also, but it's, it's really important how we do it. You know, what message are we sending out there? For effective collaboration, addressing what is behind the scenes, as you all would have reflected on, those beliefs, those um, experiences, what is your truth at any point in time? What are you deciding to move ahead with? This is important. Addressing what's behind the scenes will bring clarity on the way forward you would know, you know, am I holding myself back? Am I really doing what's best for me? Am I honoring myself at this moment in time? Or do I need to maybe hire a coach to just really get clear on what my values are so I can move forward? I can, I can, I can get ahead with my business because I know inside of me there, there is a lot that I can, I, that, that I have to offer, you know, practicing the ABCD success factors, you know, as I call it, it promotes intentional choices, decisions, and actions. And, and we make like hundreds and thousands of decisions per day. And having those personal touch points, deep connection with those things, it, it really helps you to make effective, you know, choices and decisions and move forward, you know, with, with definitely more confidence as an entrepreneur. And the empowered entrepreneur and this is where, you know, we should all be looking forward to, you know, achieving, you know, day by day by our work has high emotional intelligence. The empowered entrepreneur has high emotional intelligence. And this is important for relationships. And first of all, understanding that your personal competence, it really starts with you. You, you don't look outwardly to get those things sorted out. You go within and you build that competence build that confidence you you have the ability you just need to, to 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 understand that it's there and it's it's how you approach yourself when you can do this this personal competence then with others it becomes you know it becomes natural truly authentic because personal competence will over time build your authenticity and you will be able to truly really and truly engage with others in the best way, you know, that, that, that you can do it. And it's, again, I, I would always say it's a process. It is not overnight. It happens over time, for sure, when you, you know, keep on that track for success. And this is, you know, like a quote, you know, that I, I would like to leave with you all. Work on yourself to effectively work with others. And this is really important to be able to work with yourself, to have these these meaningful collaborations, you know, you 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 stay on that journey and 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 you stay with the support of others and 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 choose, you know, your alliances and choose how best you know you can move forward, align yourself, you know, as as you will in terms of what you want to do and 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 even those, you know, where where you have deep connections with 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 you know the values of others. I ask that question when I work with others, you know, about you know in terms of my, of my consultancy work, you know. So so what are your what are your core values? What are the core values of this organization? And it really helps, you know. All right. So we to the end of our um our presentation. Um, and I really hope that it's enlightened you all and empowered you all in some way. And you did get some measure of uh, where you need to course correct or the reinforcement or some of the information just might be new, you know, to some of you. And I really hope that uh, it, it will help you in your journey of, of entrepreneurship and the success and the progress that, that we all, you know, so, so, so deserving of. So I will leave with you a gift for the first six participants, if you like, we would be able to talk about your core values. It's a strategy session. 
And you can simply email me, and this is my email address here. It's Karina S at Caption Consulting and Coaching.com. And you can just type in the, 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 the heading. You can put core values connection meeting. And we can have a discussion, you know, and uh, just, just see where it goes and, and how this can really help with your business as you move forward. All right, and this these are my other contact information here. If you're interested, you know, you can connect on LinkedIn and also on Facebook. And in the coming weeks, I will be having also a group coaching program with the focus on core values. Stay tuned. Please send me, you know, if you are interested, send me your email and contact. And once it, it, it opens up, I will send you an email so we can connect from there. So this is my presentation. And again, thank you to Win Conferences. Thank you so much for the opportunity to connect this global platform to really have this fusion. You know, all of us, if it's one thing we have in common, it's that we want to thrive, we want to make it there, we want to be enlightened and empowered. And I'm so happy to be able to share, you know, this presentation with you all. So that's it. And I will, I will stop sharing my screen now and we'll be open, open up for any questions at all that um, the audience would have. Please let me know. Any questions, please let me know. Wow, that was amazing how you broke down what true collaboration is. Because I think in our mind, we think of it a certain way. But when you broke it down in those three areas, it really helped me a lot to understand what collaboration is versus what it isn't and how it's really attached to your emotions. So, and so the information was great. So right now I see my co-host is in the building, Melinda, and we are gonna, do we have any questions from the audience, Melinda? Yeah, uh, hi Karina, uh, thank you so much for your session. You maintained a remarkable voice in the face of a potentially hostile audience. Thank you so much. And here is the question from our audience. What is the piece of advice you would tell young upcoming entrepreneurs? The piece of advice I would tell upcoming entrepreneurs is to get clear on your values. Do not make costly mistakes. And when I say costly, I also mean with your time because of time also, you know, there is a cost to that. Be very clear on your values. It's important. There is a lot of information out there, a lot. I mean, for, for small businesses, there is a lot. But but when you are very clear on who you are, what you what do you want to do, what is your unique offering, this sets the pace for you to move forward. Now, everything is not a perfect world, but when you have that, the, the personal touch points, when that is there for you, you are able to truly move forward. And I will also say, if there is the need to maybe have a, a business coach you can work with, someone you can trust and open up with, that will also help you. Because sometimes you can't see all of it alone, you know, by our reflections. All of, we need a, a, an additional support, a co-creator. Then I would say certainly um, engage the services of a business coach. Okay, wonderful answer, Karina. Thank you so much and have a great day. Great. So is, is that it? Any any more questions? Uh, that's all. Thank you. Okay, great. Great. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so ladies. Much. Thank you so much, everyone. Oh, you are most welcome. So what we're going to do, you know how we do it. We click the arrow in the left of the screen to go and join the next featured speaker session. So I will see you in the next room. Karina, thank you so much. Um, the collaborations, I mean, you really did an amazing job. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next room. <laughs> Bye -bye.